Welcome back to another episode of the Skill Move Tutorial Series where I show you how, where and when to perform skill moves lads and give you my rating and opinion on them. Today we're learning the drag to heal, what a skill move this is, brought to us I believe in FIFA 20, don't quote me on that though, but as always, I've got a deconstructed tutorial for you guys. Griezmann, three men around him to somehow find some space for another fantastic opening, the drive back! He's made himself the tiniest bit of space! It almost feels like a bit of a toy. Didn't really go for it! Oh! Oh! It's a display there, it's absolutely ridiculous. The Elastico on the goal line, on the goal line, the finest We talked margin. about Aussie FIFA, he's not here to make up the numbers. Rabbit Hill can be performed by holding in L1 or LB if you're on ad spots of course and then flicking back with the right stick backwards to where the player is facing so that's 6 o'clock and then either side depending on where you want to do the drag to heal so if you want to do it to the right then you flick to the right of the player where he's facing which is obviously 3 o'clock or to the left of the player where he's facing which is 9 o'clock so it's holding in L1 or LB flicking back and then flicking to a side of where the player is facing depending on where he is facing of course and that's how to perform it this is where Drag is very, very good in my opinion. When you're just outside the 18 yard box, you have a defender approaching you and you want to bypass his tackle, okay? Because you can take it from behind you and then to the side, which prevents him, number one, from tackling the ball. Number two, you exploit the space that he has left open on either side. Also in the box as well, lads, just in the box. If you have a defender around, you can cut to the side, left or right, and then get a shot off. It allows you to open up an angle for the shot, which I find is very effective with this skill move. Best time to use it, I did branch into it in the previous segment, but pretty much when you want to cut to a side of where you're facing, and that usually is when there is a defender approaching you. He's approaching you from the front, you want to take it from behind and then to the side, so you're keeping the ball away from him and then going to the side. It opens up a space, opens up an angle for either a pass or a shot, and it's very effective for that, lads. In the midfield, not so much, I don't think. In the wing, you could, you could drag it to the sideline and then go up the wing, but in my opinion, there's better skill moves for that. But that will, uh, you know, signal the end of when to use it. Honestly, I think I would give it a rating of around three out of five stars. It's not the best skill, but it's also not the worst, because it actually is quite effective in terms of the actual speed of the skill move. It's quite uh, nifty, so it does beat the defender, especially when you drag them in. And lads, it's definitely a usable one in FIFA 22. Would I abuse it? No, I wouldn't. I'd use it proportionally. But that will signal the end of the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Can we smash a like, drop a sub, and also check me out on Instagram and TikTok. I'm doing tutorials on there, and I'm also coaching on Patreon. If you want one-on-one -on -one private coaching with me, lads, go and check it out. The links are all in the description down below. But as always, I hope you guys have a good day. I'm out. Sayonara, au revoir, adios, salam, ciao. Goodbye.